Okay, now we're ready to start uh, assembling the uh, control hardware for the rudder. Um, here's the basic setup. We've got the uh, uh, torque rod and then the two arms that go into it. Um, we've got this sleeve that the torque rod will go through that uh, will be glued in right back here. And then we've got these arms here that um, as per the instructions will be controlled with basically a cable system. We're not going to do that. Um, everything I've read on the forum says basically that that sucks. So, um, <clears throat> so I'm going to kind of hold off on this part right now. But the parts that we can do is we need to drill a hole right here that will allow the uh, torque rod to pass through. And then we're going to glue that brass tube in there. And then that just makes a, a, a nice sleeve for the uh, torque rod uh, to maneuver. So anyways, um, still don't have a tripod so I'm going to drill that hole. That's a quarter inch hole and we'll test fit it and um, I don't think anybody's going to be missing much uh, me drilling the hole but uh, plus my outlets way over there. So anyhow I'm going to do that and we'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my hole cut. Um, it was actually kind of a, a pain. There's a, a carbon fiber uh, strip that runs right through where the hole is. So um, I cut through the fiberglass just fine, but that fiberglass uh, strip uh, remains. So I kept trying to um, test fit the piece in there and it, uh, it just wouldn't go. So I thought the hole was too small and I got it bigger and bigger. Anyways, uh, turns out it was a carbon fiber strip. So, and of course I didn't have any tool whatsoever that would actually reach it. Um, I finally was able to get in from the um, underside with an X-Acto knife and get in there and cut it. You can see that strip right back there. But anyway, so that's about the only difficulty I had. Um, what I'm gonna do, since the hole's a little bit uh, larger now, is I'm gonna, take some five minute epoxy for the brass piece there. I've roughed up the outside surface. I'm going to put it in in there just uh, just to kind of hold it in place. Uh, once that dries, um, I'm going to take high sol and um, just put a coating ar around the outside. Um, you want to be real careful, obviously, not to get your uh, torque rod stuck in there. But um, basically, I'm going to put the torque rod and the um, brass piece just as it is there. Um, line it up against that uh, back edge there. I'm going to tape it up against the back edge so that that brass piece is aligned correctly. Um, so everything works just fine and I'm just going to let it sit overnight and uh, hopefully it'll all be all be good but uh, yeah my hole ended up a little bit bigger than a quarter inch but just watch out for that carbon fiber strip so Okay, I want to show you really quick how I'm uh, letting this uh, dry. Um, basically, right now I've just got the five uh, minute epoxy. I've got the uh, torque rod and I've lined it up uh, so it's perfectly straight in the middle of the uh, trailing edge of the uh, vertical stab. Um, I've just taped it with some uh, scotch tape there. But, anyways, once that uh, dries and um, it's not going to move around, then I'll take some high salt, mix it with some uh, micro balloons and uh, make sure that it's in there really good so that we don't um, so we don't crash on the first try at least that's the goal anyway okay I've got the brass tube uh, glued in place I ended up using um, 30 minute epoxy and um, some milled uh, glass fiber um, it turned out actually really nice. It filled up that uh, gap around the outside. Um, looks really, really awesome. Um, I've got the torque rod here. Okay, let's get it focus here. Alright, so I got the uh, torque rod in there. It works really, really good. Um, and it's right in the center. Everything's uh, straight up and down there. I don't trust that black line. It's not in the center. Um, but we're going to play a little game called uh, Guess What Sucks. And um, basically what sucks is n there's no way that I can put that um, 
piece on the bottom of that uh, torque rod and uh, actually get it into place now. Um, my hands just aren't that uh, tiny and to build the assembly and everything to fit in. Um, I tried putting the tube in from this side but the but that carbon fiber rod is actually just in the way. Um, I almost think it would have been better if in the instructions it said to build um, this part first and then put this other piece in but um, oh well I've got a couple options um, one of them is to completely cut out the side um, if you look on um, the forums or whatever Tim Robb actually did that when he did the uh, modifications to get rid of the um, cable system in there um, I really don't want to do that and so I'm gonna keep brainstorming um, one idea that I'm thinking is maybe a, a drop-on assembly that uh, that I could use like a set screw I could um, basically file down that uh, torque rod uh, a flat spot and then put uh, some type of assembly on there and then that way I could just drill a hole here and then run it up to that um, set screw and uh, basically um, make it permanent uh, that way. <clears throat> I don't care if it would be glued on later on um, to make it permanent, but uh, just getting that assembly in there. So anyways, I'm gonna brainstorm with that a little bit, but um, uh, we'll go ahead and um, keep putzing along with the uh, rest of it until I get that straightened out. Hey guys, um, I jumped ahead a little bit here because I've really been uh, playing around trying to get the uh, rudder throws to uh, work the way that they're supposed to. Um, the instructions call for an inch and a quarter in either direction. Um, I'm getting about an inch. So um, I talked to uh, Gunrad on the forums and he said that um, setting it to the, uh, the recommended settings or whatever uh, basically will make it almost um, roll because it's got so much uh, authority so um, I think that the inch here either direction is going to be um, plenty good so the other things that uh, I wanted to bring up when I was working on it um, I kind of had to reshape the leading edge a little bit um, to get those throws and then I also you can just barely see um, had to cut out a section of the um, front of the leading edge of the uh, rudder and then I also rounded the uh, corner there on the front edge because as it goes up it tends to want to rub so um, I think I'm gonna reshape it a little bit and clean up the edges and, uh, and try and get it a little bit nicer before I, I finalize it but uh, just wanted to show you some of the uh, stuff that I was having uh, issues with um, the other thing too, you want to make absolutely sure that you're, when you drill the holes that the uh, torque rod goes into, that um, they're right on the center line. I thought I was good, but um, had to move it just a little bit, and then that actually gave me the rest of the throw I needed. I started out with only about um, three quarters of an inch. So, anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this apart and show you where I'm at. Okay, you can see I've only uh, have one hinge installed, and there's our torque rod right there. I was gonna pull this off just so you can see what we've done. Okay, so that's basically the uh, leading edge. Um, I kind of ground out um, that front part there and uh, drilled my two holes. Um, <laughs> I know it's really sloppy. Uh, I apologize. Um, not not my best work here, so. Like I said, I was kind of more experimenting, trying to get it to work. Um, I also noticed that where that comes out, if you look on the uh, left side of the uh, torque rod there, you can see that it's not totally um, uh, rounded. It kind of uh, kind of comes out over here a little bit. So anyways, I could have shaped that probably better before I put the torque rod in. So anyways, I just had to take a little bit more material off the bottom there. You can see how that's shaped. So anyways, um, as long as it's hidden from view, I don't really care. Um, you really can't see it. So all is good.